teach at Monning Middle School. Uh, I teach eighth grade science. I was doing an uh, activity called Mile to Minute. And the first time I did it, I did it with uh, whiteboards. And I was walking around the room assessing the kids and I uh, noticed that a kid had a bunch of scribbles on his paper like this. And I almost dismissed him and he called me over and said, Coach, could you come and see what I have? But you have to have an open mind. And he said, you know how you said that waves, space is up, down, sideways, and all over the place? And wavelength was a word that I used in the talk about a minute. And so he showed me this and said, so don't you think that waves go in all different directions? And that even though these waves are going back and forth and crisscrossing each other, that our receptors can still pick out a person across the room. Hmm. The other thing uh, was a kid who drew, I had explained to them what gravity was based on Einstein's theory of relativity, that space warps around an object and that all of us who have mass warp space slightly. And he said, so Mr. Ford, you look at my picture, it was a picture of Pigpen on Charlie Brown. And he showed, he showed me that maybe the little particles of dust are just orbiting us all and that we just can't see it. And uh, using this mile a minute in, in the formative assessment tools, I saw the, the scores increase. Uh, I challenged the kids to pull their scores up 10 points, but using the formative assessment, I even saw 30% 30, 30 increases. And, and sometimes even from making a 40% or a 30% on the first one, kids made 95s, and one kid even made 100. And so um, also one kid, came up and asked me her grade on her last CBA. And I told her she made, it, made an 85. And she slapped my desk and said, I could have done better. Um, and, that, and that just made me really proud. I mean, in the formative assessment tools, they really work. Uh, and I've, I'm, I've bought into it. Uh, they're tools that we can all use as teachers.